Hi, I'm Mike Lee, the Team Horizon, and this is Horizon Team Tech Tip. You know, we do a lot of things in our daily lives that are a sequence of actions. Some of these we do for safety, and others are done in order for the item and equipment to simply operate. In this Team Tech Tip, we're going to show you the right way to properly prepare your AS3X equipped radio control model for flight. There have been reported incidents of AS3X equipped models performing uncontrolled flight with pilots saying that they did not fully follow the entire set of procedures. Some even said that they didn't even read the instructions. Well, just in case you can't remember the sequence, we're going to present this to you in video form so that you can fly your model in complete confidence. We will first bind the AS3X equipped model to the transmitter, which in our case is the E-Flight UMX Carbon Cub. This part size flyer uses the AS3X system to give you the feel of a much larger aircraft, courtesy of the three-axis stabilization system. To perform the binding process, start with making sure you have a fully charged flight battery. Your transmitter should also be fully charged as well. We're going to bind the carbon cup to the Spectrum RC DX9 transmitter. The carbon cup will bind to any Spectrum transmitter using the DSMX motor transmission or DSM2 motor transmission. As a part of this video, I will stress to you you need to read the instructions that come with your models in order to know how your model works. This is especially true for models using the AS3X system. When the battery is charged and ready, let's bind the plane to the transmitter. Start with connecting the battery to the plane. If it does not detect a matched transmitter, the radio will go into the binding mode. You can tell because the flashing red light on the inside on the receiver. We're going to match it to our DX9. So let's go ahead and turn our DX9 on and go into the bind mode. To review, we're going to go from the operational screen to press the scroll switch once to get to the function list. Scroll down until you get to the systems setup. To press the scroll switch once. Let's disable the RF section so that at that question, answer yes. To press the scroll switch once. In the system setup, go ahead and scroll all the way down to where it says bind and enter into the bind command. We're there now to press the scroll switch and now we want to go to the bind command and here we go with the binding. Watch that red light. Binding. Bind failed. If it fails like you just did, you need to back away from the aircraft so you can get a little bit of distance between you and the aircraft. You're too close. Let's try it again. Perfect bind, here we go, it's going to light up. Bind complete. The bind is complete, and now we're going to have control. Do not touch the throttle. We have ailerons, we have elevator, and we have rudders. The AS3X system is not activated at this time. With the model properly matched to the transmitter, it's time to start one of those procedures that you should get into the habit of doing before each and every flight. I call it a functional control check. As a competition pilot, it is not unusual for me to have my helper call out the functions of my aircraft and for me to respond to those commands by moving the controls as they are called out. If we find anything wrong with the sequence, such as a control moving the wrong way or not moving at all, we can correct the problem before the plane gets into trouble during flight. Make this procedure one of your habits. Let's do a functional control check now. Right aileron. Good. Left aileron. Good. Up elevator. Down elevator, right rudder, left rudder, and check the flaps. Everything checks out just fine. We have just done a functional control check and we're ready to fly. Okay, so we've been talking about doing that procedure with your AS3X equipped aircraft. And it's something of a habit every time you fly. So let's go through that procedure right now and see how it's done. The procedure starts with the transmitter being turned on, and it is and in the proper model selected, which it is. Check the throttle stick, make sure it's in the off position, all the way down. Now plug in the battery of the carbon cub and rapidly set the model on the workbench or table. Your aircraft should not be disturbed for at least 10 seconds while the AS3X system aligns itself with the plane. When it does, you will hear the servos begin to hum just a bit. And we heard just a little bit of a pulse right there. 
you should now be able to move the controls. And we are. Do be careful at this time because the motor is armed and ready to roll. The AS3X system is not active yet. To activate the AS3X system, you must bring the throttle to at least 50% throttle and back to idle or off. We'll run through that right now. We're in an enclosed space, so we're going to be very careful about this. Point it away from you and stay out of the arc of the prop. Raise your throttle to half throttle and right on back down again. The AS3X system should be armed, and the way that you tell that it's armed or not is by easing the airplane up with your hand, and let's roll it. You hear the servos moving? That means the AS3X system is active and doing its correctional thing. You're ready to roll. In order to shut the aircraft down, simply unplug the battery, turn off your transmitter, and you're done. Remember this sequence also on every aircraft you fly. Whenever you're turning on an aircraft, the transmitter is turned on first, the receiver is turned on second. When you come back home to tur turn the aircraft off from a flight, the receiver is turned off first, the transmitter is turned off last. Transmitters are kind of like the U.S. Marines. They're first in, last out. Transmitters are first on, last off. Following the proper procedure for preparing a model or any piece of equipment is important to the safe and proper operation of that model. Ignoring the procedures or taking a shortcut might be disappointing to you should the model crash because it was not prepared completely or correctly. We at Horizon Hobby want you to enjoy your hobby and hope that this video will help make your experience a great one. I'm Mike Lee with Team Horizon and you just got a team tech tip. Thanks for joining us.